The highway north of Zagreb will take you to an idyllic hilly landscape. It's Zagorje. It's an hour's ride to the exit for Trakoshchan. Here, all urban forms disappear. You're entering a space of silence and green meditation. The way to the castle is lined by oaks. This is one of the most beautiful Croatian castles. It's surrounded by a park in the style of Romanticism. The lake reflects the birds by day and the moon by night. Nature and architecture in perfect harmony. The castle was fashioned this way in the 19th century, in the age of Romanticism. It was fashionable then to return to nature. The woods around the castle inspired romantic poets. The castle seems to embody the poetic ivory tower. It evokes the time of knights and ladies. We're in the night hall, the most beautiful room in the castle. It's decorated in the medieval style. It embodies the chivalric military past of the castle. Battle gear was heavy and cumbersome. Soldiers were supposed to be very skilled riders. What was the purpose of the ivory tower? In the 19th century, the tower was a dining room, then it was a hunting shed. Hunters gathered here and told hunting tales. Trophies caught in the nearby woods still hang on the walls. The castle was originally a fortress, built in the 13th century. It changed hands, became bigger. The most famous owner was the Croatian noble family of Drashkovic. They owned the castle until the end of the World War II. Then it shared the fate of all Croatian castles. It was nationalized. The rooms on the first floor are best furnished. The Drashkovic family spent their days in these rooms. The family's coat of arms shows a griffin with a golden apple marked with a cross. It was a symbol of the secular and religious roles of family members. A couple of years ago, an arms museum was opened here. It exhibits around 200 pieces of old weapons. The exhibits are priceless. The oldest ones date from the 15th century. Seeing infantry weapons, halberds and armors delights children. Most visitors are school children, but there are more and more foreigners, Hungarians, Slovenians, Japanese and others. Those looking for peace or inspiration will find plenty here.